Hello again and welcome back. Now that you've added your load information with your trucking office load planner, it's time for the next step, creating a trip. At this stage, you're ready to move your cargo. And to do so, you'll need some key pieces of information to plug into your trucking office trip create page. We'll get to those in a minute, but first, let's take a look at how you get there. For your convenience, there are three ways you can access the trip create page. First is the Add Trip button, located here on your Trucking Office dashboard. Second is the Trips option, located here on the main menu of your dashboard. And third is the Add Trip button, located here on the Load Planner page, making it easy for you to quickly create a trip after adding a planned load. No matter which option you choose, each will take you directly to the Trip Create page where you'll input the necessary detail for your trip, such as driver and truck assignments. Now that you've located the Trip Create page, let's take a look at the information you'll need to enter. Before we begin, if at any point you need some assistance or a reference to any of the following steps, a comprehensive user guide is available here, which provides a thorough breakdown of how to create a trip. Now onto the page. As you scroll through the page, you'll notice some of the data fields are marked with an asterisk. This means these fields are required, and they must be completed before you can create your trip. The first piece of data you'll need to enter is your driver information. If you're working with a new driver, or if you're creating a trip for the very first time, you'll need to create a driver, in the same way that you created a customer in the load planner. Fill in as much information as you can and save your new driver. Keeping in mind the fields marked with asterisks are required. And now, anytime you work with that driver on future trips, the information will autofill from your online address book. So just like with customers from your load planner, you only need to input the driver's information the first time. Next is the truck information. And once again, if you're utilizing a brand new truck or if you're creating a trip for the first time, you'll repeat the steps you took to create a driver here to create a truck, making sure that all required information is entered. Once the driver and truck have been selected, the system will automatically show you the truck's last known whereabouts, allowing you to plan accordingly for empty and loaded miles, depending on the location of the truck as compared with the pickup location for the load. The last piece of required information is the load. After adding planned loads in the load planner, they will appear here, awaiting assignment to a trip. Be sure to select a load to assign to your trip by checking the appropriate box here. Once the required information has been input, you can save and move on. However, it is recommended that any optional information be entered as well, if it's available. By adding the optional information up front, Accurate reporting is easily achieved, and less time is needed for processing upon completion of the trip. If you have a custom trip number you'd like to assign, you can add that here. A team driver can be added by clicking here. You can either create a new driver or choose an existing driver from your address book. If you'd like to assign a trailer to this trip, you can do so by creating a new trailer or selecting an existing trailer from the dropdown. If you need to add a routing stop for accurate state-to-state IFTA mileage reporting, you can do so easily here. You can also come back later and revise this if plans change after initial entry. If any fuel expenses, truck expenses, such as tolls or hotels, or reefer fuel expenses are known, they can be entered in the appropriate fields here, here, and here. Be sure to click Save to ensure the creation of your trip and from there, you'll be taken to the Summary page. The Summary page is where you'll see all of the numbers for every trip. From the tabs at the top of the Summary page, you can make edits, send emails, and add more trips or loads, amongst other available options. With a PC Miler integration upgrade, you'll also be able to get street-by-street -street directions and local maps. As you scroll through the Summary page, you'll be provided with a snapshot view of the information from the Trip Create page, along with some additional detailed breakdown automatically generated by the system. Additionally, from the Load section of the Summary page, you can upload attachments and break down miles by state. 
with a PC Miler integration upgrade, the miles by state will be generated automatically. Without that integration, this must be done manually. Congratulations and well done! You've just created a trip. And now you're ready to create an invoice.